So Steve, as product manager at Alice, you've been taking this product around as part of the Pioneer program to show uh, our customers and to get feedback on how we can develop these products and make them better and more comfortable for the groundsman. Looking at the handlebar side, which is where the engineers seem to have spent a lot of their time in controlling this, can you just talk us through how the handlebars are working and why it's better for the groundsman than it's ever been before? Uh, so for, for compared to our petrol uh, options, uh, we've not got any tension in the front system. So with it being electric, this is basically just an operator presence lever. Sure, that looks rather very than easy. very easy. There's no tension there on the actual uh, handlebar or the, the hands of the operator, uh, and also the actual comfort grips themselves. So very nice uh, and smooth uh, with a recess as well to take the actual bail bar. So there's no actual unevenness on the actual fingertips themselves. Yep. Great. And I know as I'm getting older, my grip's getting a, a bit weaker. And I know on the old system where you're pulling uh, be belt tensioners, that's right, uh, yeah. that now with this literally just fingertip, it's, it's, literally it's, just it's operating on and a off. Switch. It's yeah. tucked in nicely to the handlebars, so I haven't got a really big handful mm -hmm. here of bail bars. So I, I can see why the, the customers are loving that. Um, talk to me about that, that thing that, that we've got a patent, uh, or at least applying for a patent on and hoping to get, this so half speed button, half speed and why button. that's important as well for the control of the machine. So basically you can have both hands on the, the operator, which is on the, uh, both hands on the handlebar themselves. Yes. So very important when you are making maneuvers and turns. So with it being uh, 160 kilos as well, the wide handlebars, obviously there's a lot of weight there to try and maneuver and turn, but yep. with the handlebars, the size of those, it makes it very easy and balanced uh, for the machine. So you haven't got to slow the machine down using the, the variable speed there. You can literally just press the button in, very simple, while keeping your hands on the, the unit. You can make your turn then, giving you enough um, reduction of speed to do that. Or even just going around trees and obstacles. Once you're back on your straight again, press that button and it picks up your previous speed setting and it keeps your clip rate exactly the same as well. Uh, Whereas absolutely. if you're adjusting the, the lever there, trying to get that back in the exact same spot, very difficult to do. Great, you'd never achieve that, but I, I can see that when I'm turning around, I need a little bit of time there just to be able That's to, right, yeah. to do that, uh, uh, and I can really see how that well done. Increases the productivity as well. Obviously, it's just very simple um, action, just pressing that button in rather than trying to slow down, make your maneuver, and then Sure, picking you that the speed up for again. mowing speed for maximum productivity right. and the best clip rate but I still I can still just slow down for the turnaround at yes, the end yep. so that would really help as well talk to me about the speed controls on the cylinders so we've got um, two speed options there fast and slow very um, effective in uh, adjusting the speed for the cylinder yep. so giving you a very clip rate between 95 and 195 clips That's per great. meter yep. um, but also when you are doing other options such as a scarifier a turf rake it also varies the speed of that so you can be more or less aggressive. Uh, also wet conditions as well, you can adjust how you throw it into the box and depending on what the conditions are like that day. Good. I notice there's no screens on this, no major dials giving me loads of feedback, but I notice there's a couple of lights, a green one and a, a red one on here. What yes. are those lights for? So we've just got the, the actual power to the machine and also your slow speed button as well. So when that is actually in operation, you will get an LED indicator there just to highlight to the operator. That's great, so I know whether engaged. I'm in half speed or not, so that I can see how that would be really useful. Yep. Um, and then finally, I've got this uh, lever here. Yeah, so that is your parking brake. So if you are transporting the, the mower on a, a trailer, important just to lock that rear roller off, just to help with uh, strapping the machine down, keeping that uh, secure. And also if you are parking it on a slope as well, if you've got any slopes on the ground, it's ideal just to apply that before leaving the mach machine on its own. Great. I'm really loving this lightweight, although it's such a, such a, a sturdy machine and really right. lays down yeah. great stripes. It was a function of the weight. Uh, I'm just loving this handlebar weight here. That's, yes. It's, it's not kicking off when I'm accelerating mm -hmm. away, and especially with the half speed button, yep. it accelerates away. But I can see why, when I've spoken to a couple of customers that have used this, that they are talking about the comfort of this. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, I guess it's that's important. partly not to do, uh, partly about the noise not being there like you'd normally expect, but also just these handlebars are really, really hitting the mark. So Very it, minimum it vibration as well. Just giving you yeah, that extra sure. comfort. Yeah, sure. And of course, it, we, we're all very aware of that in, in the industry, aren't we? And, and, and the real effects of using machines with vibration for long periods. So I can see why that's a really big advance too. 
Uh, I can adjust these handlebars as well, so it doesn't you matter can, whether yes, I'm 6 foot or no, or that's right. Foot, I can there's two points on the machine, so we've got the lower adjustment now just to pivot that, and also the midway as well, just to raise and lower, give you some actional, uh, additional options there. Sure, and with the machine being quite fast, I'm, I'm really pleased with the amount of space that I've got. If I need yes, to step plenty this of leg up, room. I'm, I'm not too close to the machine as well, and yet I'm not too far away yeah. to enable me to make my turns. Maximum so well. speed, you're about 4.7 mile an hour, so you can get a good sprint on when yeah. you've got the right conditions to do sure. that. Sure, but I've got the, the options with the cylinder speed to make sure my clip rate's right, right, even yes. at that speed, and I can turn around so easily. So that's really great. Thanks for that, Steve.